Hello, this is Carrie Black from the Space Weather Center located at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Welcome to the weekly report from May 9 through 15, 2012. Space weather activity this week was weak to moderate. The sun was fairly active with flares, but there were no major events at Earth, just a brief period of elevated radiation levels. There were seven recorded CMEs and 74 recorded flares. Some lovely prominences were detected. A weak CME went with this one. Most of the activity was from active region 1476. 70 of the 74 recorded flares, including all five M-class flares, were from this region, as was the only O-type CME of the week. Earth was in line for a glancing blow on May 14. Possible signatures of a CME were detected at ACE within one hour of the predicted arrival. Earth was mostly under the influence of a high-speed stream of solar wind this week from the same coronal hole that was responsible for last week's high-speed stream. KP hit a high of 4 early on because of this. This high-speed stream was also responsible for significantly elevated electron radiation levels in Earth's outer radiation belt, where spacecraft are located. Geomagnetic activity is likely to remain low as there have not been any major Earth-directed events in the last couple of days. Solar activity is anticipated to remain at low to moderate levels over the upcoming week. Active region 1476 is in decay phase and is rotating behind the sun. Late on May 16th, it generated a CME flare event, which is not Earth-directed. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching and have a sunny week. All of the data in this video is accessible from our integrated space weather analysis system located at iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov.